What's going on? <clears throat> Man, what's going on everybody? It is your boy, Trey Sense. Even though I'm thinking about changing my name from Trey Sense, should I go back to Trey Belafonte or should I go for something new and original like the old Dirty Fragstick? I'm kidding y'all, lighten up. It's your boy, Trey Sense. And we got a little bit of a review, a little bit of a discussion, you know how we do it here on the channel. Listen, before we get into it, need you to do me a favor, need you to like, share, and if it's okay, sub. Who knows? And always remember, we always have a goal on this channel to get all of our videos to at least 50 likes. I don't think that's asking too much, and your like may be the one like that it takes to get it to that 50. Now, I don't know the old dirty frax that does kind of have a nice little ring to it though, don't it? Anyway, let's get into it. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I haven't had this fragrance all that long. I wore it once, but I wanted to re-wear it because I have a habit of getting a fragrance, wearing it, and then pushing it back and then not coming back to it. I didn't want to do this uh, that with this one. It is from the house of John Varvatos, and it is John Varvatos. X, X, and this is from the newest, one of the newest releases from the house of John Barbados. I think he did um, a couple of XX fragrances or something commemorating the launch of his comp, of his fragrance line or whatever. And I like it. I, I, I do. It's, it's not the reinvention of the wheel. This is a little bit annoying, but hey, it is okay probably break that off some kind of way and get yourself a nice little keychain or whatever but uh, it even has a little crown there oh look and they put a little thing on there so it wouldn't scratch the bottle not that this won't but still the fragrance okay the fragrance the fragrance the fragrance the fragrance it is a compliment getting fragrance it is nothing groundbreaking it is nothing new sweet masculine woody that's what you get the scent profile is tried true and tested and it is the scent profile that uh, people like i don't know what else to tell you about it i don't know what else to tell you about it i picked it up from macari brand new still sealed for 20 something dollars maybe 30 dollars after shipping but before shipping and taxes it was uh 20 something dollar. I want to say tw like $24, $24.99. And I thought that was a really good price for a any, basically any designer, 125 mil fragrance that you can get for $25. It's a pretty good deal. But because at the mall, if you shop there or if you shopped, if you bought this fragrance at a, uh, what were they? Cologne specialist, a cologne store or something. There's no telling what it will cost you. My guess is you wouldn't be able to get it under 60. And if you found it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls or somewhere like that, the 100 mil would probably be close. Well, 125 mil would be close to 40 bucks. So I felt like 24 was a steal on that fragrance. And I do like it. Again, does it work? Yes. Does it smell good? Yes. Is it anything new and groundbreaking? Mm -mm. No, not even in the least. But does it work? Yes. Does it smell good? Yes. So if you want to smell good, Get John Barbados XX. All right. That's what I wore Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Moving along to Monday, I was surprised because I got a package in from both Kevin Holt at Sensual Obsessions and one that I had purchased from the homie Cheapo Depot. Now, two Sensual Obsessions. Again, you can find Sensual Obsessions all over Facebook right there. There is what it is. Central Obsessions, and you can go to Central Obsessions uh, website and shop, or you can just hit Kevin Holt up directly. If you have Facebook, Kevin is such a personable person and easy to reach. Just hit him up. The fragrance that I wore Monday, and I absolutely love this, and it is Caribbean Waves. Is that what it is? Yeah. The Caribbean or Caribbean? Which way do you pronounce it? We're going to go with Caribbean because it sounds better. Waves. Now, what this is, is is his version of Virgin Island Water. Man. And the lime note. 
bet you. Cause see, let me little side note, cause y'all yeah, don't know this. I drink a lot of water. I drink a lot of water, um, especially when I go to a restaurant. Like I refuse to pay three or four dollars for a drink, so I I get water. And I have them bring me both lemon and lime. So when I tell you that the lime that he used in this smells just like a freshly squeezed lime, I could wear this every day in the spring and summer. I mean, I, I could. I, I I just love this scent profile. It's fresh. It's easy. It goes well in the high heat. Um, the oil concentration in this makes it a great performing fragrance as you if you know anything about the original uh, Virgin Island water, it's not the greatest performer. And if you know anything about a fragrance that I know is known to be a pretty close resemblance to it, which would be uh, Tommy Bahama, Set Sail, St. Bart's. Again, not a great performer, but this one does the trick. It, it's a great performing fragrance and that lime. It almost makes you want to just spray it in your mouth, like, but you can't. I wouldn't do that. I'm not suggesting that, but oh my goodness. It, that, that lime, that lime, that lime in there is just so fresh and realistic that it is amazing. That's what I wore Monday, Monday, Monday. Uh, and going on from the package that I got. I also received a sample pack, so I want to go through some of the fragrances that I got in the sample pack and that I wore from the sample pack. So I'm fixing to go on a little bit of a sensual obsession haul here, or ran, run here. Okay. This one is his version of, I want to say Bulgari Tiger. And this is Tiger Obsession Extract. And this is what I wore. That was Monday, Monday, Monday. This is Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Did not receive any compliments on it. Other than the usual, somebody smells good, which I get that with everything that I wear. So what I'm going to tell you about these fragrances. And I'm going to say the same thing about all three of them. From my knowledge and my research, Sensual Obsessions is extremely close with everything that he does. I know that Virgin Island water is absolutely spot on. Everything that I've gotten and compared it to, it's been spot on. So with this one, to me, um, Bulgari, Tiger, and Tuxedo both have this very grown masculine mature citrus note it doesn't come across our hugo boss reserved uh, uh not reserved reversed it's the same way it has a a the this the citrus note in that fragrance is more um pronounced it's more it's just more mature it's just more mature that's that's no other way to say it and this one is the exact same way I absolutely love it. I may be purchasing a full bottle, a big bottle of this, or at least a, at least a 30 mil of this. Cause again, I can see myself going through a bottle of this really, really quick. This won't last me very long at all, but you know. The good thing about it is the oil concentration in these are so high that even though it's a sample pack, you only need three to four sprays and you're good. So that's three or four wearings easily out of this. And this one again is Tiger Obsession Extract. And that's a good one. That's a good one. I'm gonna put him right back in my little sample pack right there. That's what I wore Tuesday, 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 which brings us to Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Oh dear, which one did I wear? I wore this one, Wednesday. And this is H bar. And I want to say it's a van. That's nice. That's nice. A little bit boozy. A little bit of a gourmand. A little bit of a tobacco vibe there. 
So I guess that's what you have is the mixture of a tobacco fragrance with the mixture of a boozy fragrance. And that's what you get with this one is H bar. I did get a, a the usual. And I say that because I, I get that a lot. I don't know if it's when I move. Uh, for example, today is, is Monday at the shooting of this video. And I wore a fragrance to work, of course. And when people move, it's like the wind picks up the fragrance and the lady looks at the lady standing next to her and go, you smell good. I know it wasn't her, it was me. But, you know, so you you get that a lot. I may not get a direct, you smell good, which I do sometimes, a lot of the times, but since sometimes it's just in the air and they don't know where it's coming from. But H-Bar, really nice fragrance, really, really sweet. A little bit of tobacco and a little bit of booze it the tobacco in it reminds me of a Mugler tobacco like pure Havan or something like that it reminds me of that type of tobacco but it's nice tobacco and booze I mean it sounds like a good day hanging out with the homeboys like my boy uh, Marvell Allen you know he's he's a military guy so he he likes you know, a good glass of cognac, a good beer, and a good cigar. I don't know nothing about smoking cigars. I don't. It's not my wheelhouse. It's not my wheelhouse. Okay, that was Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. And that brings us to Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. And this one, I can tell you because I have this one. And it is spot on. The, the opening is a little bit different, but as it dries down there is no doubt what this one is cloning and and it, his interpretation of the fragrance is called millionaire privé and it is a clone of one million privé which is discontinued now one million privé gonna cost you if you want it millionaire privé won't cost you that much is it close extremely close. I'm gonna say 95 to 98 percent there. The opening is just a tad bit different but the dry down man you still get that sweet that honey type of vibe. Just a really really nice fragrance. I was impressed with this. I was impressed with this and the thing that I liked about it I sprayed it on and I did get compliments with this one. I did get some directs. Man, you smell really, really nice. What is that? And then the lady was like, I gotta get that for my husband. Oh yeah. Me and there, prevate. Again, the longer this set on my skin, and I can remember because I had to run some errands. Thursday's my haircut day. I had to go run an errand for one of my homeboys who's not able to get out at the moment. So and I also had to go to the foot doctor. That's where they told me how good I was smelling when I went to my foot doctor. Um, I knew it would come back to me. She was like, man, you smell really good. Me in there, pre man, it smells good. But I can remember riding and, you know, as it sat down on my skin a little bit, I was like, I wonder what. Yeah. And then it hit me and I was like, man, that smells so close to one million pre because you know, one Million Privé, which is right back there, is one of my favorite fragrances. Definitely from the One Million line, and I, this is no no different. This is a good one. This is one I will definitely be purchasing a full bottle of because, and then, <laughs> and then my mind goes, if you get that, you can sell that One Million Privé, make you a little money. I could, but one thing that I think us frag heads do, and I had this conversation with, uh, Trayvon from Scent Talk TV and, and Da Vinci, D. Da Vinci, the poet is, don't get caught up in the rat race of buying fragrances. Buy fragrances as you choose to buy them, when you choose to buy them, and as you want them. Not because you feel like you gotta keep up with this, because they didn't went from making EDTs to EDPs, to parfums, to extracts, and to elixirs. I mean, it just, we can't buy everything. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, nor should we buy everything because a lot of it is redundant. But I say that to say I really enjoy One Million Privé and I enjoy having to get it in my collection. So I don't think I will be selling it. But that doesn't mean that I won't be purchasing 
Millionaire Privé from Central World Obsessions. Okay. That was Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Friday was a very chill day. Um, I didn't do anything Friday. Just really just chilled all day because it rained a lot. So I just chilled around the house. Needless to say, I didn't wear a fragrance. If I did, it wasn't one worth mentioning. So maybe because I was just dipping and diving in and out most of the day. I didn't, you know, didn't wear a fragrance. But Saturday, I did. Saturday, I did as I went out to dinner with the lady friend of mine. Just got out and got something to eat. Nothing too major. Um, and one that I love. I love this house for clothing, fashion. I love this house for its fragrances as well. But the house is Polo. And this fragrance is Polo Gold Blend. And it is a parfum concentration. And this smells really, really good. Out of all the Polo Blues that I have, and I think the only one that I don't have now is the new one in the square bottle, which would be Polo Blue Parfum. Because I have Polo Blue, the collector's edition, which is a parfum. I have Polo Deep Blue. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's a parfum or not. I have Polo Blue Parfum. Um, no, Polo Blue EDP. I have that one. Um, I have Polo Ultra Blue, Deep Blue, Original Blue. Yeah. And now Polo Gold Blend. Um, Polo Gold Blend in Polo Blue, the collector's edition, and Polo Blue EDP, they're very, very similar. I feel like. I do have Polo, yeah. That's a lot of Polo Blues. But anyway. This one. Think about the freshness that you have in the original Polo Blue. The cucumber is toned way, way down. If it's in there, I don't really pick it up the way you do in the original Polo Blue. In the original Polo Blue, you pick up the cucumber right off the bat. This one, not so much. Um, but man, is it nice. And you still get that freshness you still get that freshness like like you get from the original polo blue but it's much deeper much sexier much more refined and i like it a lot i really do enjoy this fragrance this may be my favorite from the polo blue line this one and polo blue the collector's edition i think may be my favorites it's just something about them that you know deep blue is good ultra blue is really really good in the high heat it's a high, a high heat type of fragrance, um, but it's something about this one that's just really, really good to me. It it performed well, lasted throughout the night. I got compliments. It's not too overpowering, but it does have a presence. So, you know, if you don't have this one, this may be one that you need to look at picking up. All right, guys, that is it, man. That that's it. That's the end of this video for this week. Listen, thank you all so much for being the best part of this channel. We've already started another week. By the time you see this video, it'll be Tuesday, uh, which is actually Wednesday for me. So we're rolling on into another week. I've already wore two fragrances. So uh, again, thank you all so much for being the best part of my channel, man. And I, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, and again, please be sure to like. Remember, you can buy decants for me of anything that I sample. Anything that I review, you can get a decan of. Um, won't be decanting the Sensual Obsessions. and But you can get a decan of the John Barbados if you're interested. And you can get a de decan of the Polo Blue. Uh, what is that? Gold Blend. If you're interested. If not, hey, I understand. But that being said guys thank you so much for being the best part of this channel i'm going to get off edit this video so that you can see it and all of that good stuff listen i love you all may god bless you all until next time guys peace